Look at this guy. He's got a blue tick and over 113,000 followers on Instagram. He must know what he's talking about. Women shouldn't do CrossFit and exercises women are not allowed to do? Okay, so maybe not. So if you haven't seen them, there's been a couple of reels making the rounds recently from this guy, Dor Eckstein. I hope I've said that correctly. And when I first saw his reel on why women shouldn't do CrossFit, I wasn't 100% sure if he was being serious or if it was his attempt at a joke. But looking at his page, well, he's put up similar videos about exercises that women shouldn't do. Now, I'm not here to make a video to defend these poor women because they can't defend themselves. No, there's plenty of women doing an excellent job at ripping apart these videos. You can just head over to Lucy Campbell's Instagram or Scarlett V Fit and you'll see some great examples of that. But I would like to approach it from the point of view of doing CrossFit in general and why these kind of videos that are purely opinion based and focusing very much on looks and aesthetics are a real problem. But no doubt along the way I'll offer some counterpoints to other things he says in his video as well. So let's begin. CrossFit is not for women. The reason is, is that men and women train the same in the CrossFit gym. They do the same exercises. So he does actually say something in this part of the video that is true. And that is if you go to a CrossFit gym, we do the same exercises or we train the same. Now, the very simple reason for that is because it is functional movements. And guess what? We all live in the same world and therefore the needs of our body to move are pretty much the same no matter who we are. We probably all need to squat down from time to time to pick something up or we may need to lift a load above our head. Now, admittedly, this can vary to degrees depending on a person. For example, maybe because of somebody's work, they have to lift a particularly heavy load overhead quite frequently. Well, likewise, when you go to a CrossFit gym, even though we're doing the same exercises, we're not necessarily doing them the same way. If it's a barbell, potentially we're going to be loading it to different weights, whether that's a difference between men and women or two men or two women that have decided to load their barbells differently. We can all adapt and scale workouts according to our needs, our abilities, or even our goals. But let's see some more of the things he has to say. And what happens is when you don't do workout plan that's intended for women, women tend to build too much muscle on their upper body. Women who train CrossFit for a long time, you can see how they look. They look, you know how they look. So this is a strange comment. Too much muscle. Well, too much muscle according to who? Because it turns out you can't put on that much muscle by accident. So if somebody does have a muscular physique, it's because they want it, or at least they've trained to get it. Now, there can be different reasons for this. Maybe they disagree strongly with this man's opinion, and actually, they like a muscular look. Or it might have nothing to do with the way a person looks, and they are training for performance. And they've discovered that in order to perform the best, they need to train a certain way, and the end result is, this is how they look. But another question would be, is this how all women that do CrossFit look? Do the more than 140,000 women that have signed up for the Open this year all look like a CrossFit Games athlete? You know, I've been doing CrossFit for quite a while now, and I can tell you that I do not look like Noah Olsen. Picking an elite level athlete as the example for the general populace would be like saying if you have to sprint to catch the bus now and again, you're going to look like an Olympic track athlete. You won't. But it is good for you that you're able to sprint for the bus when you need to. Which is why saying things like you shouldn't do CrossFit because you're going to look too muscular isn't a great thing to hear when you know the benefits for someone's health that come from them doing CrossFit. And of course, with regards to a woman's choice in the way she looks, it has to go both ways. So while yes, some women will choose that they want to have that more muscular physique, it's understandable that other women might choose not to look that way. They don't want to have that much muscle. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't do CrossFit or they wouldn't still benefit from doing CrossFit. And this idea that if a woman just touches a barbell, she's suddenly going to look like John Cena in a dress is ridiculous. It takes an incredible amount of hard work and effort for anyone to put on that much muscle. So this fear that you'll suddenly become too muscular when all you wanted to do was get toned because you're doing CrossFit and using a barbell, well, it's just not going to happen. And if anything, it diminishes the incredible hard work of these athletes that have been able to build these physiques. Let's just check out the last part. We're almost done. Now, if you want to look like that, sure, go ahead, train CrossFit, do it. 
10 times a week, I don't care. But if you don't want to look like that, don't do CrossFit. Do a specific workout plan for women, for a feminine looking body. So he says he doesn't care, but if you don't care, why are you making these videos? Oh, because you're letting women know that they'd be better off if they were doing a specific program that is tailored to help them gain that feminine physique. But where could they possibly find a program like that? Oh, you conveniently sell one and it's only $379 a month. Now, I don't know if he really believes the things he's saying or if he just puts out controversial topics as he knows that will get shares and views and build his brand. But what I do know is that women absolutely can do CrossFit and they can do it for a variety of different reasons or to reach a variety of different goals. And then trying to discourage them from doing something that ultimately will benefit their overall health because you are afraid that they will then get too big is pretty terrible. And it's also quite ironic when we think that people try to discourage men from doing CrossFit by saying that it's too much cardio and they will lose their gains. It kind of sounds like people that want to hate on CrossFit just need to get together, have a conversation and decide whether or not it's going to make us too big or too small.